Did you know that a bad crankshaft sensor can keep your car from starting? If your car is having trouble starting, it's worth checking the crankshaft sensor to see if it's the issue. If your automobile won't start, it's probably due to a crankshaft sensor failure. This is a major issue that, if left unchecked, can lead to engine failure. While it's not advised to drive your car with a bad crankshaft sensor, you can do it by doing basic mechanical repairs or by using starting fluid. What's a crankshaft? A crankshaft is a rotating shaft that converts reciprocating motion into rotation. It is a critical component of internal combustion engines, as it translates the piston's linear motion into rotational motion. This means that it plays a pivotal role in the engine's operation. What's a crankshaft sensor? The crankshaft sensor is a key component in modern engines. It helps the engine control module, ECM, to monitor the position and rotation of the crankshaft so that it can properly time the ignition and fuel injection. If the crankshaft sensor fails, it can cause serious engine performance problems, including stalling, misfiring, and poor fuel economy. In some cases, it may even prevent the engine from starting. What happens if the crankshaft sensor fails? If the crankshaft sensor fails, it can cause a number of different symptoms. The most common symptom is an engine management light, EML, or check engine light on the dashboard. Other symptoms include the following, stalling, misfiring, poor fuel economy, difficulty starting the engine, rough idle, how to start a car with a bad crankshaft sensor. If your crankshaft sensor is failing, it can be extremely difficult to start your car. Check the engine's oil level and quality. If the oil is low or dirty, it could be causing the crankshaft sensor to fail. Remove the battery cables and clean the terminals. This will help ensure that there's no buildup of dirt or corrosion on the connections. Inspect the engine's spark plugs and wires. If they're worn or damaged, they could be causing the crankshaft sensor to fail. Try starting the car with the engine's throttle slightly open. This can help if the crankshaft sensor is failing to properly read the engine's speed. Have the engine's computer system checked for codes. This can help diagnose the cause of the problem and guide you to a solution. Replace the crankshaft sensor. This is usually the best solution if the sensor is truly failing. Check the wiring harness for any damage or loose connections. This is another common cause of crankshaft sensor failure. Have the car's ignition system checked. If there are any problems with it, it could be causing the crankshaft sensor to fail. Try starting the car with a jump start. This can help if the battery is low or there's a problem with the car's electrical system. Contact a professional mechanic. If you're still having trouble starting the car, it's best to leave it to a professional to diagnose and fix the problem. How do I replace crankshaft sensor? Step 1. Disconnect the negative battery cable. This will help prevent any electrical shorts while you're working on the car. Step 2. Locate the crankshaft sensor. It's usually located near the engine's harmonic balancer or timing cover. Step 3. Unplug the electrical connector from the sensor. 4. Remove the mounting bolts and pull the sensor out of its mount. Step 4. Clean the area around the sensor mount. This will help ensure a good seal when you install the new sensor. Step 5. Install the new sensor in the mount and secure it with the mounting bolts. Step 6. Reconnect the electrical connector to the sensor. Step 7. Test the new sensor by starting the car. If it starts without any problems, then you've successfully replaced the crankshaft sensor. Step 8. If the car still won't start, then there may be another problem that needs to be addressed. Contact a professional mechanic for further diagnosis and repairs. How to start car with starter fluid. If your car won't start and you suspect a problem with the crankshaft sensor, you can try starting the car with starter fluid. Starter fluid is a chemical that helps the engine start by providing a burst of fuel. It's only meant to be used as a temporary fix, so don't use it for more than a few starts. To use a starter fluid, open the hood of your car and locate the throttle body. The throttle body is usually located near the air filter box. Remove the cap from the throttle body and spray a small amount of starter fluid into it. Next, locate the spark plugs on your engine and make sure they're clean and free of debris. If they're dirty, use a wire brush to clean them. Once the spark plugs are clean, try starting the car. If it starts, then you know the problem is with the crankshaft sensor. If it doesn't start, then there may be another problem that needs to be addressed. Contact a professional mechanic for further diagnosis and repairs. Can you drive without a crankshaft sensor? The crankshaft sensor is an essential part of a vehicle's ignition system. It helps to ensure proper engine operation and performance by relaying information about the position and rotational speed of the crankshaft to the engine control unit, ECU. 
Without this critical sensor, the engine would not be able to start or run correctly. So can you drive without a crankshaft sensor? In short, no. Driving without a functioning crankshaft sensor is not advisable and can lead to serious engine damage. If your vehicle's crankshaft sensor fails, it's important to have it repaired or replaced as soon as possible. To summarize what we've discussed in this video, if your car is having trouble starting, it could be a sign that the crankshaft sensor is failing. This is a serious problem that can cause engine damage if it's not fixed in a timely manner. To start a car with a bad crankshaft sensor, try these tips. Check the engine's oil level and quality. Remove the battery cables and clean the terminals. Inspect the engine's spark plugs and wires. Try starting the car with the engine's throttle slightly open. Have the engine's computer system checked for codes. Replace the crankshaft sensor. Check the wiring harness for any damage or loose connections. Have the car's ignition system checked. Fortunately, replacing a failing crankshaft sensor is usually a fairly simple job. So if your car is having any of these symptoms, don't ignore it. Have your crankshaft sensor checked out as soon as possible. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.